Hello guys welcome back to the channel once again today I'm super super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be talking about this amazing and actually very interesting movie that I just watched very recently and yes there is a lesbian situation that actually develops so basically it's a comedy romance and it's called happy ending and yes it's actually in Dutch but you don't have to worry when it comes to translations we all know that Netflix always has that you know category you know manage but before we get into further details, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well if you guys have watched this movie. And what would you personally rate it from 1 to 10? Me, honestly, I would definitely rate it an 8 out of a 10 reasons why. is because I definitely understand why the movie ended the way it did. And also I feel like it was very good for Luna in this case to actually discover what she likes, what she don't likes, which is very important, especially when it comes to intimacy. So yes, guys, so let's get right into further details and actually speak about the relationship that happened between Luna and Eve. So like I said, it's a comedy romance. Basically, it follows a close couple, Luna and Mink are celebrating their one year anniversary. But Luna has been, you know, faking her OR. G-A-S-M-S -S from the beginning of their relationship but best friends you know suggest an idea for them to actually open their relationship and invite a third person into it and of course Luna at the beginning she didn't know how to approach that to her boyfriend and tell her boyfriend that you know she wants to open their relationship basically to spice thing up because she wants to oh yeah I would just say oh the word oh you know and of course at the beginning her uh, in this case her boyfriend he didn't understand why she wanted to do that because in his own personal point of view he feels like when it comes to their intimacy they actually have uh, they are doing very very well and they don't need a third person but Luna was like you know I feel like he is getting you know his duties paid but I'm not getting mine paid but she also never told him that and also because she never knew how to actually tell him that you know he's in this case not satisfying her basically more of the story so after that you know Luna ends up meeting Eve Eve is this lady she's very open minded you know she's not in a relationship she's single she says she's not doing relationship right now she just has fun, uh, fun and you know if they if a couple invite her into their relationship to have fun you know uh, she will say yes depending on the circumstances and of course you know Luna was very attractive to Eve in some way somehow when, the, when she first saw Eve like she really was caught towards her and Eve is very chill very open-minded she never made things awkward you know she knew how to play her role in the situation so basically they go out they have fun they have drinks you know everybody is already on the same page on what is going to happen where is this is going to go so after that they end up going to in this case Luna and Ming's house to go do the do so after they did the did the do the do in this case you know Ming actually ends up passing out uh, on the sofa because he was tired. They already have done the duties. And of course, at that very moment, Eve and Luna ends up sharing a moment together where, you know, Luna was able to have her first O. And of course, you know, she felt good and she felt even more attractive to Eve for Eve, you know, have made her do that because it's very difficult for her, you know, to, to do the O. And also, you know, she also kind of a way felt guilty because it wasn't her boyfriend who did it it was a woman who did that for her it could bring that out of her and of course some way somehow she ends up feeling attracted to Eve and her emotions and everything started to get you know confused because like I have a boyfriend I love my boyfriend everything is going well for us like why why is it when it comes to this is a specific situation why is things not working for us you know so after that you know luna started to text eve on the low and just wanting to see her hang out with her and of course at that point if she didn't want to make things awkward because she knows she's in a relationship she asked her hey like is your boyfriend okay with you hanging out with me like he knows you here all right and then luna of course she lied she lied to eve and said yeah he's cool with it don't worry you know he, he's busy doing his thing working whatever the case is and of course eve ends up believing it you know and the two end up hooking up again and just getting more involved with each other when it comes to intimacy level and of course luna some way somehow i don't think like she really you know was in love with eve but she really 
felt attracted to Eve when it comes to intimacy because nobody could bring that out of her. You know, her boyfriend that she loves couldn't bring that out of her, you know, and there was something that she's missing. And of course, later on, her boyfriend actually ends up finding out about, you know, the fact that Luna has been seeing Eve behind his back and he wasn't happy with it, you know. And then they end up getting into this altercation and there's, you know, basically speaking the truth and from luna's boyfriend's perspective he was like you could have told me we've been together for one year that you know i wasn't satisfying you it's unfair to me because like you should have said something and not go behind my back and basically sleep with the person who i didn't even want to open our relationship to but we did it for you and now you know you go behind my back and you still keep you know getting involved with this person it's not fair and of course after that eve also found out that luna was lying you know they basically telling her that her boyfriend was okay with them you know doing their dues she and of course Eve also got upset with it you know she basically just told her like you have to figure your things out I don't want to be part of this I can see you confused you are here with me but I know you love your boyfriend and it's two things that you have to figure out and I don't want to basically just deal with this so Eve actually ends up removing herself from the picture which makes perfectly sense if you ask me because like she knew her role she, even though Luna was lying to her, she knew how to remove herself. And of course, after that, Luna tried to get her boyfriend back, you know, asking him for a second chance because she genuinely does love him and he loves her too. But her boyfriend just couldn't forgive her for the betrayal, you know. And some way, somehow, he also felt like, you know, it was time for them to part ways. Luna tried to make it right, tried to convince him. But it didn't work out, you know, and after that, of course, Luna moved out of his apartment and they end up going separate ways. But one thing I have to point out at this point is that, you know, once the Luna was at the end of the movie, you can actually see Luna at the cafe and she saw Eve and she saw Eve was doing good, you know, shining, just looking beautiful. And she didn't even approach her, which makes perfectly sense because she knew like don't overstep, you know, it, it ended, you know, you, you both part ways, you, you don't go do you don't go and do extra stuff and of course her boyfriend in this case also you know at the end of the movie you can actually see them two being very mature having a conversation and finally you know luna could genuinely open not scream and argue but open on how you know the fact that they couldn't match intimacy why it affected her in their relationship and he, he the, the guy her boyfriend for the first time could actually listen to what she had to say and how she felt which i feel like they ended the movie in a very positive note basically just saying hey like we didn't work out but we can still be cool we can still be friends i don't want you to hate me i hope you find a person that can give this to you what i couldn't give to you you know which makes perfectly sense for both and yes they just had a amicably how we can we say cordial not bad vibe break up because they could finally found uh you know a main ground after spending time apart from each other which is super super good eve also moved on with her life luna is single and the guy is also single as well so yes guys if you guys want to know all uh, the specific details i would 100 percent recommend you also go watch the movie once again it's called happy ending it's available to watch on netflix and it's a romance slash comedy please don't forget to like comment share subscribe i hope you all have enjoyed this video until the next video and goodbye